We are working with functions, and in the last video, we gave the definition of what a function is. And basically, the shorthand of this is saying that you cannot have any repeated domain values, but it is okay to have repeated range values. We tried to identify whether sets are functions or not, and we did a few examples. We actually did six examples of it. Three examples where they specified the domain and range, and three examples of giving an ordered pair notation. Now we want to adapt these examples to figure out whether a graph can be identified as a function or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the exact same example two that we did back here, and we're going to plot some points, and this is going to help us clarify whether something is a function or not by looking at the graph rather than looking at the ordered pairs individually. So let me plot these three points. The first one is 9, negative 5. My second point was 9, positive 5. And my third point was 2, 4. Now, back here in our example, we said that this one was not a function because my 9 value and my domain repeated. So if we focus on that on the graph, notice we have a 9 value here and we have a 9 value here. So the way that we can adapt this to see whether a graph is a function or not is basically we can see whether there's any ordered pairs stacked on top of each other. Any ordered pairs have the same x value. So the way that we do that is we use what's called the vertical line test. Um, basically, it's saying if you can draw a vertical line through any part of the graph and it intersects the graph more than once, then that graph is not a function. So, for example, here, I can draw a vertical line through my graph here. It intersects my graph at two places. Hence, this was not a function. So, to determine whether any graph is a function or not, we do what's called the vertical line test. Okay, so let's actually look at some examples here. I have three more examples. Remember, you're trying to draw a vertical line at any part of the graph, and if it ever intersects your graph more than once, then it is not a function. So I suggest that you pause the video here and see if, whether these three examples are functions or not by your thought process. We get to choose where to draw this vertical line. You get to play devil's advocate. You basically want to see, is there ever any place where I can draw it and intersect it more than once? In example one, there's quite a few places where I can draw it. I can draw it straight down the middle, and it would intersect my graph once here. And imagine that as an actual straight vertical line. I could have drawn it over here, and it intersects it more than once. Over here, and it intersects it more than once. You just have to do this one time. If you can figure out one place where it intersects more than one time, then that is a very clear no, it is not a function. Now, if we want to explain why, our explanation in graph format is because it does not pass the vertical line test. In example two, again, I can draw a vertical line here and it only intersects my graph once, no big deal. Same thing on the right-hand side. I can draw it there and it intersects my graph only once. But you want to play devil's advocate. So you want to figure out where the worst spot to draw this vertical line is. And we can actually draw, again, quite a few places. But if I pick it right here, I can see that it actually intersects my graph three times, which is definitely more than the once that it can only intersect it. So therefore, this one here is, again, not a function. And our explanation is because it does not pass the vertical line test. Okay, in my third example, I can draw a vertical line many places and it be okay. There's really only one place where it is questionable, and that is right here when x is equal to 1. So if I draw a vertical line through that right there, does it intersect my graph more than once? It may look like it because it looks like it may intersect this point here and that point there, 
but one of these points is only defined. So it really actually only intersects this point here because this point is an open circle. It's not defined there. So my vertical line at x equals 1 really only intersects the graph once down here. So this is actually, yes, a function. There's no place where I can pick to draw a vertical line through that graph, and it intersects that graph more than once. So now we know how to determine whether a graph is a function or not, and so we are done with this video.